What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I am joined with my good friend, Clarissa. What? <laughs> so yeah, today you're probably wondering why we were in science uh, lab coats. We're here to solve the coronavirus. We work at the CDC on, you know, part time. We just gave our position away. <sighs> today we're going to actually be making elephant toothpaste. <laughs> Science, Starting with the experiment. Do not try this at home unless you have adult supervision, y'all. Use some gloves or else you'll burn yourself. So today we're gonna be using the uh, hydrogen peroxide. So we're using 3%. Usually this calls for 30%. The hydrogen peroxide is what is gonna go in first. And then what you're gonna do next is that you're going to use food coloring and you're gonna add that in of your choice, about 10 drops. Um, but then you're also gonna use some dish soap. It could be any type of dish soap. We also aren't gonna be using potassium iodide. We're gonna be using yeast. So it calls for yeast. either one as our catalyst. Don't know what the definition of catalyst is. Catalyst is. What? Oh, 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 I can't, I can't. Basically, you can also use a water bottle, but today we're gonna be using these uh, scientific flasks and some beakers to mix all of our ingredients together to make the elephant toothpaste. Using potassium iodide actually activates everything inside of it, causing it to speed up and foam to cause the elephant toothpaste to expand and foam out the top. <laughs> so today we're not gonna be using potassium iodide. We're gonna be using yeast. Yeast does basically the same thing, um, acting as the catalyst for the experiment except it doesn't cause it to explode as much as potassium iodide would. So we got our safety gloves on because when using this stuff, it can get hot. They're a little dirty. Bruh, oh. I cannot. Why do you look like Randall from Monsters, Inc? <laughs> I'm gonna head out right now. We'll blow this house up. <laughs> I cannot with these anymore, bruh. We're gonna start small and then we're gonna work our way up to the bigger one, so. Cause who doesn't like it big? <laughs> we're gonna start with adding in the hydrogen peroxide. You wanna pick out a food coloring that Let's we're gonna do use? This. Ooh. One, two. There we go. So yeah, we got our 10 drops of food coloring have been added. So next we need to add in some dish soap. You think that's enough? I think so. I think that's enough. Yeah. About enough? That <laughs> <laughs> it calls for 15 milliliters of Yay! yeast. And now we have to add about 15 milliliters of hot, warm water. All right, let's mix in some hot water. So the yeast will consume the water like a thirsty asshole. Like a thirsty asshole. <laughs> It has to be at the consistency of about melted ice cream. So once we get it to that uh, level of consistency, we're able to then pour it into the flask and then that's whenever it will start expanding and rising to make elephant toothpaste. All right, I think that should probably okay. be. I think that's it. All right, and pour it in. Ooh, it's about to plop in. Oh, there oh, it goes. Oh, oh. oh. So it is mixing together right now. It's not gonna be as fast paced as the potassium iodide would be. Okay, now I'm stirring up this a little bit. Oh God, it just like blows up right now. There it goes, she's rising. Ready. What if it actually <laughs> explodes? Oh, oh, oh. She said hello, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, so that's step one of our first test. Mm. I can't imagine if we use potassium iodide, this whole downstairs would just blow up. Angie would be very mad. Angie would be very mad. The carpet would get stained. Let's touch it! 
not as thick as the last test we did. I think she's done. She did what she could. Okay. That's the best you got, honey? Mm, sad. We'll be back after this quick break. Welcome back. <laughs> so this time we're gonna be using a 2000 milliliter flask. So this one's gonna be twice as much of everything. First, start off with pouring in the- You said flask. You know what flask is? Is where you hold your liquor. There's two types of flasks. Oh, oh damn. So now let's do the dish soap really quickly. What is it called for again? God knows. Swore all the alien piss in here. It looks like alien piss. Oh, oh, oh! All right, look at all those colors we got mm. going on. Wow. Mm. Mm. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, it smells like biotin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's pretty. Oh, shit. Cannoli. Here it goes. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. She comes up nicely. Look at her. She's purple. Okay. And she smells delicious. All those. Taste it. Uh, brushing the little elephant's teeth. Look at that. It's still going. Well, this one went really well. Yeah, we're going to do one more test and see how that one goes. Do not recommend drinking <clears throat> that. My cellos go wild. Ba-boom. Look how much hydrogen peroxide is in there. That's nothing. Give it a little bit of a whirl. Yeast is such a funny word. Yeast! 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 She thick! Damn, boy. Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Let's do like half of that. That's not coming out, honey. It's yeast. It's yeast! Oh! <laughs> I can't. I activated something. Let's say fuck it, bro. Anything crazy about to happen? Oh, look at the yeast on top. This one's kind of gross looking. This one's. Oh, there she goes. She's going. This one got messy. Oh my god. This one's gonna get messy. Oh. This one's gonna get messy. What? Oh my god. <laughs> so much is happening. Oh my god, it's about to go over. <laughs> It's about to go over. Pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going oh, off. Oh shit, it's so good. Ah! Oh my oh, god. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the CDC is gonna catch me. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh no. Oh my god, it's still going. It's still going. <laughs> We'll be back in just a second. Bye, folks. Oh, my God. Well. Wow, wow, wow. That went very interesting, that last test that we did. Next time we try this, we're gonna actually use potassium iodide, and I feel like that will actually spice up the actual explosion from the inside and use some uh, stronger hydrogen peroxide, and that should be able to make it, you know, the experiment a lot more interesting and kind of crazy. Well, if you like this video, go on ahead and like it, leave a comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to. You can go follow Claudia on her Instagram. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, maybe even a comment. And if you want to, you can click that thumbnail on the left and it'll take you to my most recent video. See you next time.